Chennai is quietly powering almost half of India's smartphone exports. Latest data from the Ministry of Commerce and Industry shows that in fiscal year 25, 95,948 crore rupees worth of smartphones, that's 45.68% of India's total 2.1 lakh crore rupees exports shipped out of Chennai alone. Well, that's almost double the next city, Kolar, on the list and cements Tamil Nadu's position as the country's undisputed smartphone capital. Over the past decade, Tamil Nadu has executed one of the most disciplined electronics manufacturing playbooks, well, in Asia. Foxconn, Pegatron and Tata Electronics have turned the Chennai Hosur belt into the iPhone's second home, with 70 to 80 percent of all iPhone made in India rolling off these lines. Infrastructure and talent. From industrial housing for 18,500 women workers to state-backed skill programs like Nan Muddal One, the state has ensured a very steady, industry-ready workforce. The next aspect, policy alignment. The new Tamil Nadu electronics Components Manufacturing Scheme is pulling in display camera module and battery suppliers, deepening the local value chain beyond simple assembly. This isn't just another outsourcing story, it's actually strategic nation building, a state-led model that the rest of India is now studying. Let's actually rewind back to 2014. There were only 26% of phones sold in India which were made locally. Today, 99.2% are made in India and exports have crossed 1.29 lakh crore rupees with over 12 lakh jobs created across the electronic supply chain. The shift has been supercharged by this. PLI incentives that reward scale manufacturing, US-China trade tensions and pandemic era supply shocks that actually forced global brands to diversify. Apple's strategic pivot with CEO Tim Cook revealing that a growing share of iPhones sold in the United States will soon be sourced from India. India has moved from being, well, just a backup to becoming a frontline player in the global smartphone supply chain and Chennai is its launchpad. Polar in Karnataka now contributes 23.75% of India's smartphone exports, driven by Wistron's iPhone lines near Bengaluru. Delhi NCR follows at 18.74%, powered by Samsung and Lava. But even combined, they barely edge past Tamil Nadu's lead. This southern dominance shows how a single state can out-execute larger regions when policy, talent and global partnerships align. Right now, India excels at assembling devices. About 80% of high-value iPhone components, which is chips, displays and modems, still come from China. Apple's India Play shows why that gap is starting to close. 45 suppliers have actually already created 3.5 lakh jobs, producing $45 billion worth of iPhones since 2021, with 76% exported. Value add is already at 19% and what is very, very encouraging that it is rising. This is India moving beyond assemble and ship towards real electronics manufacturing muscle. Tamil Nadu's new component push and the National Semiconductor Mission aim to capture displays, camera modules and lithium-ion cells. India's National Semiconductor Mission, backing fabs from Tata Electronics, Micron and CG Power, aims to make chips onshore. If India pulls this off, Chennai won't just be the iPhone capital, it will be the episode, epicenter of end-to-end -end electronics innovation. From two phone plants in 2014 to 300 and plus today, India 
has flipped the script. From a phone importer to the world's second largest mobile manufacturer, Chennai stands at the heart of this revolution. 95,948 crore rupees. I just love saying that figure again and again. Worth of smartphone exports in just one year. Tens of thousands of new jobs anchored by global giants. A pipeline to move from assembled in India to invented in India. The city's factories are no longer just serving India's billion plus users. They are shipping to the world. The question is, no longer, if India can compete with China in electronics, it's actually how soon Chennai will define the next global standard.